Here is an obscenely cheap and crappy Duracraft box fan that I used in college for many years. Well, for a year, I should say. No, I'd used it for a little bit last year in college as well. This fan, uh, I think I bought this at a drugstore as well for pretty cheap. It's, it's just a smaller box fan. It's a lot more plasticky and cheap than the Lasco one. The Lasco one's much better. This one is just made of plastic. At least it has a well-constructed handle here. Uh, to take the fan apart to clean it, you ha it actually held, it's held on by plastic uh, clips right there. So it's pretty easy to get that off to clean the blades and everything. Uh, the power cord is not fused, I don't think. Let me look at it. No, nope, power cord's not fused. So you have to depend on your uh, house circuitry in case this fan's motor ceases up and decides to burn up shit. Handles of plastic. Let's turn it on and give it a test. This is high. Now here's the thing I like about this. This is on high. The fan is not extremely loud. Not too loud at all, which is really nice if, you, if you're in a quiet environment. And here's low. Low is very nice too. Now a lot of times the way I use this fan is that if it gets kind of hot in here and the ceiling fan up there isn't enough, I just turn this fan around the right way. And then I have air to the rest of the room coming from this fan. And it, even on low it provides enough airflow so that it feels a little bit cooler in here even though it's not. And that has been a demonstration of this crappy drugstore Duracraft box fan. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one everybody. Ciao.